A simple guide to the Wakhan Corridor. Wakhan Corridor, Panj River, Pamir Mountains, and natural beauty of this stunning area in Afghanistan. The Wakhan Corridor is simply a remote area of land that is located in the northeast part of Afghanistan. It borders several different countries, which include China, Pakistan, and Tajikistan. The strip, or territory known as the Wakhan Corridor, is situated between the Pamir Mountains in the north and Karakoram Range to the south, both of which provide beautiful and dramatic backdrops to the area. The corridor is located in a part of Afghanistan, which is known as the Badakhshan Province. The Badakhshan province is one of the 34 provinces of Afghanistan, which shares a border with China that stretches approximately 56 miles, 91 kilometers, as well as stretching all the way to China. The corridor also separates Tajikistan from Pakistan. Known by many locals as the roof of the world. The Wakhan Corridor has now become a popular destination for many explorers. The length of the Wakhan Corridor is approximately 218 miles, 350 kilometers long. This 218 miles, 350 kilometers long strip of land provides a corridor which connects Afghanistan with China, as well as passes through the territory of Tajikistan. The width of the Wakhan Corridor ranges between 7 miles, 13 kilometers, and 40 miles, 65 kilometers at its widest point. The narrowest point of the corridor is probably somewhere near the western third of the corridor. At this point, as we mentioned previously, the width is approximately 7 miles 13 kilometers wide. The Wakhan Corridor then reaches its widest point in the central part of the Wakhan, where it reaches up to 40 miles. 65 kilometers in width. At the western entrance point to the Wakhan Corridor, close to the town of Ishkashim in Afghanistan, the corridor is approximately 11 miles 18 kilometers wide. Traveling to the Wakhan Corridor is not easy and you really need to do your research and a lot of planning before attempting to travel there. Safety is paramount and you should ensure you travel via the correct channels and using a trusted, experienced and reputable guide or operator where possible is advisable. In order to travel to the Wakhan Corridor you will require several different visas and need to inform different authorities about your travel. Although still barely touched by tourism, the Wakhan Corridor has seen a steady increase of visitors over the past years. This said, the number of people that actually visit the corridor each year only amounts to several hundred. The Wakhan Corridor has mainly become a place for the more adventurous trekkers and is now a destination that is advertised with a select few tour companies who offer trips to the region.
In 2014, the whole area of the Wakhan was designated as the protected Wakhan National Park. The history of the Wakhan dates back many centuries, and the area was not always closed as it is today. In fact, it was actually part of the Silk Road, which formed a trade route, linking it to other countries. It is also believed that in the 13th century, the corridor had been traveled by explorers such as Alexander the Great and Marco Polo, whilst on their way to China. The area was always an integral place at which countries met, but in 1873, an agreement was reached between Britain and Russia. Then, in 1893, an agreement between Britain and Afghanistan meant that both the Panj and Panir rivers created a border between Afghanistan and the Russian Empire, which is now Tajikistan. In 1893, an agreement, known as the Durand Line Agreement, signified a boundary, which was a narrow strip of land between British India and Afghanistan. However, in 1949, the borders were closed, restricting movement between countries. The narrow strip of land was in place to act as a buffer zone between the countries, and later became known as the Wakhan Corridor. The Wakhan Corridor now shapes the panhandle of the region in Afghanistan, known as the Badakhshan Province. Today, the region is inhabited by the Wakhi. Kyrgyz and Pamiri people, who farm the area and trade their produce with other countries and regions of Afghanistan to earn a living. The semi-arid conditions the corridor experiences allows them to grow such things as wheat, barley, apples, apricots, potatoes, peas and more. The livestock reared in the region includes sheep, goats, yaks, horses, donkeys, and camels. So, here is a quick recap and summary of the Wakhan Corridor in Afghanistan. The Wakhan Corridor is located in a very remote area and borders several different countries, including China, Pakistan, and Tajikistan. It remains relatively untouched by tourism, but is seeing a steady growth in visitors each year. The region offers natural beauty along with stunning backdrops. Getting to the region is very difficult and requires you to obtain several visas before entry. It is advisable to do your research and plan accordingly before you travel. If possible, seek advice from the appropriate organizations and authorities that are familiar with traveling to the region. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe to our channel for future videos and travel information. Don't forget 
to take a look at our other videos, of great destinations, attractions, and places to visit, worldwide.